Let it rain, let it pour, let it rain a whole lot more, cause I got them deep river blues. Let that old river rise and fall. First of all, let's take a look at the way that I play Doc Watson's Deep River Blues in performance and on the street. to approach this tuition in a slightly different way. If you search on YouTube you'll find that there are two videos of Doc Watson playing Deep River Blues. The first one when he was younger is flash and slick and the second one is a little bit older is a little bit more laid back. I'm going to show you how to play the introduction to the second video when he was a little bit older. The first thing to realize is that Doc Watson just used one finger um, it's amazing how he got the complicated sound he did with just one finger, but of course his thumb jumped around and helped out as well. So first of all take a look at how Doc Watson plays with his one finger. You'll see both my hands in a split screen and I'll be playing slowly. Take a look.
That wasn't too bad, was it? In fact, I missed out a couple of thumb jumps in section 2 and in the last section. I just wanted to show how Doc used his finger to get that nice effect. We'll introduce the thumb jumps uh, later on in the video. Let me show you what I mean by a thumb jump. This is how we transcribed and played the last section. Now see how Doc's thumb jumped across to the treble strings. And again at the right speed. In the video Doc made when he was younger, his style was a little, little bit more complicated. And in fact, when he starts in E7, fifth fret he played this you see his finger moves in this way So at the end of this run, Doc pinches the 4th string and the 3rd string with his finger and thumb. So we can approximate this sound by hitting that 4th string with our thumb quite hard, so both strings sound like this. Also, it's quite tricky to get the, uh, the 3 strings with the single finger. So we can do one of two things. We can either miss out the second string in this way, or we can use two fingers in this way. Let's take a look at the well-known introduction to Deep River Blues. Here I am ready to go. After I play it, we look at the instruction. After posting that video, I had some comments and some questions by email about the thumb jumps and also what happened at the end of the verse when Doc plays. So that's what we're going to look at today. In the middle of the verse there's a, a little section like this. thumb jumps across the strings slightly out of time and makes a kind of a syncopated beat. We're going to take a look at this first. Then after this we're going to look at the end section. The end section goes like this. So we're going to take a look at what's happening there. First of all let's look at the thumb jumps that we see in Doc's playing in the middle of the verse. First of all, I'll play it at something like normal speed. Mm. 
Now let's slow it down a little and take a look at the right hand again with the tablature. And now for the left hand. As you can probably detect, I did miss out some of the thumb jumps and I used two fingers instead. Sometimes we have to do this because we can't all play like Doc Watson, but at least we can appreciate what these guys did and try and incorporate some of the techniques into our playing. We can't hope to copy all of the old great guitarists because we don't have enough lifetimes, but at least we can appreciate their genius. Now let's take a look at the end thumb rolls. I hope you enjoy that and I hope you find it useful. Keep on picking and I'll see you again. <laughs>